Welcome to this video for Quantum A on say FA. My name is Upasana Das and I am a PhD researcher at the Universidad Autonoma de Madrid. I am working on photonic nanomaterials. Today in this video I am going to tell you a bit about myself and the work we do here in our lab. I come from India and I completed my masters in physics from University of Delhi. As a student, I have always been fascinated about how light interacts with matter and at our group FOND, what we do is we try to develop new tools to observe the energy flow of semiconductor nanomaterials like quantum dots and 2D materials. These materials are crucial for the future of electronics and photovoltaic technologies. But measuring energy transport at such a small scale is very challenging due to the diffraction limit of the optical microscope. In order to overcome this, we need to be clever and this is where transient microscopy comes in. With this technique, what we can do is we can push our limits beyond the diffraction so that we can observe the energy transport with unprecedented precision. Transient microscopy can be termed as super resolution technique to observe the energy transport. Here's how it works. First, we create the smallest possible spot of light right at the diffraction limit to excite a population of energy carriers in the material. As these carriers move, we magnify the image outside the microscope to track how this population broadens over time. While we can't directly measure below the diffraction limit, we can measure tiny changes in the population spread giving us a detailed energy flow map with sub nanosecond and nanometer resolution. So what I do in my project in the lab is I try to understand the electron transport of these materials but not just the electron transport also the challenges that disturb this flow of energy within the semiconductors. What I use is a transient microscope with the intensified charge coupled device camera that allows me to see rapid changes within the energy landscape of the semiconductor. So the goal of my PhD is to understand the energy transport in the semiconductor materials in order to better develop materials which can later on be used for optoelectronic devices. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to know more about our research work, please click this link.